In the description of this video, there is a link to a Chrome extension that allows you to hide the view counts on YouTube videos. Also other things. It sometimes doesn't work at all or takes a little time, but it's far for the course when it comes to Chrome extensions. Either you take it or leave it. I don't know if it works on Explorer or Firefox or fucking Opera GX, so I don't know. Check the comments if you care. Also no mobile viewer, so that means no scrolling unless you have one of those weird Android or Huawei phones that accepts extensions, which is like, uh, or you can do some fucking wizardry and tamper monkey if you care, <laughs> fucking femboys. I mean, if you have your reservations about these types of things, just know you probably have a dislike counter that is just openly lying to you. So people are roasting Dream and saying he's about to be ratioed in his response video. The only problem is the stupid plugin is off by like 140,000 dislikes. LOL. Here are the exact analytic on the video. Why do people use dislike plugin that doesn't even work? So probably should get rid of that as well if you want to be consistent. But why would you do this from the consumer's point of view? I could have put in a long tirade about the mental health and content creators and blah 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 blah. Go watch this video. It, well, if you have spent any time watching YouTube, then you know that view counts rarely tell you anything about the quality of the video before you click it. Just consider when you're on your homepage and you see a video that captures your eye. The questions that you may ask yourself are, will this be interesting Answer to the me. question it poses in this title or what thumbnail? What does it say about the how person much effort was put into this video, etc. Now I want to ask you how many of these questions, if any, are answered by the video's view count. I mean, it tells you how many people have already seen the video, but that only informs you on in how much this video may or may not have been recommended to the right people, or which community on Reddit or Discord the video has been shared to. After all, view counts are pretty much the only thing that the creator doesn't have control over when the video is displayed to you via recommendation algorithm. And personally, I don't really care for extraneous information that says less than nothing about the video that I may or may not watch. With them removed, it induces a weird feeling like you actually have to look at the videos before clicking on them, and you realize just that some of the shit looks fucking awful. I mean, of course, taste is subjective, but like, who clicks on this stuff? I'm not gonna go, oh, dead internet theory on here, but it's definitely a lot of kids. To creators like me on the other side, we put a lot of thought and effort into our thumbnails. And I mean, some of us do, but it's part of the game. Know that this arbitrary variable can be removed so you can decide which videos seem worth your time and which don't. There, uh, that's my piece. Thanks for watching.